Greetings students and welcome to Advanced Research Methods, Section W01, Fall Semester 2015 at Kennesaw State University. This is an entirely online class as you know and I am Dr. Bohannon. I will be your instructor this semester. Our class purpose this semester is to be able to describe, then apply, and then synthesize various research methods, including qualitative, quantitative, and mixed methods research. The main objective here is for you to, at the beginning of the class, develop your own research design and carry it through to the end of the semester. This introductory video serves another purpose as well. I'd like to take you through parts of the class. If you have had me as a professor before, this may be a review for you. Um, otherwise, this will be new and important information. Our text is the John Cresswell text, Research Methods. It is available in the bookstore or at third-party sellers such as Amazon or Half.com. Let's start with the home page. It does look different than the SPSU D2L home page. The news section is on the right hand side. Here is where I do most of my communicating with the entire class, updates, announcements, extra resources, that kind of thing. The other thing you'll see on the home page is our calendar. That's the second most important item. I have front loaded most of our material, at least for the first nine weeks. So you will have access to these beginning Monday each week at 12.01 a.m., which is when our week ends, and until Sunday at 11.59 p.m., which is when each week ends. The third item is the content browser. We will click on Course Policies. This gives you everything you need to know before we actually start the class. Please do take a few minutes and read grading criteria, noting that a B is the minimum passing letter grade for graduate courses at Kennesaw State University. Please also review the Netiquette Guidelines, the Professionalism Statement, and also have a look at the syllabus. The syllabus has our course discussion model, which is also listed in most all discussions and also has all of our grading information, major assignments, weekly assignments, all of that. So our learning objectives are also contained in our course expectations as well as in our weekly modules. So what we can do is we can start with week one and we can see that I have described three learning objectives that after completing this module you will be able to do. The content is located here as well, Cresswell Chapter 1, plus one scholarly article contributed by you. When you are ready to do the discussion, you click on the discussion and click Start a New Thread after you read the directions and making sure that you follow our course model. This setup will take us through the entire semester. This is how we do each week. So let's go back to Course Home and scroll down to see any updates that you will see. You can see emails from me. You can see pages from me. This is the email item. This is where I will send emails and updates to you. This is the uh, subscription alert for discussions. And when you see the little red dot here, that means you have update alerts that will be most likely coming from the news item. So also clicking under content, you can see that all of our weeks are laid out with the exception of weeks 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm going to keep those weeks flexible until we see what your research projects look like. If they lean more qualitative or more mixed methods, we'll spend more time talking about those two types of research in, in our uh, discussions. If they lean more towards quantitative, then we'll look at quantitative a little bit more. So I wanted to give you all some flexibility to work with me and work with each other to build those research designs. So that's why we don't have anything right now until we see what everyone's got. You can also click on major assignment guidelines to see what the expectations are. 
of you, uh, if you've taken me before, you know blogs, midterm, final. So if you don't have a blog already, you'll want to go to WordPress or EduBlogs and, or get your own domain um, so that you can uh, produce some public content this semester. Library content for most of us is going to be different. We are now um, no longer using the Hive Search, so I'll update that for you all. That was uh, effective just yesterday, August 7th. So I'll update that for you all. It will be the Kennesaw State University Library. If you try to go to the SPSU Hive Search, it will direct you to Kennesaw State University. The SPSU website is no longer available. Tech Help is another important resource for you. I've listed KSU Tech Support for those of you who have not worked in D2L before you may need extra tech support, which I cannot provide. So um, I, I can kind of help out with external things and blogs and blogs and YouTube and things like that. But if you really have issues with D2L, it's best that you contact KSU Tech Support and you can email them or call them, submit a help ticket, and they will get back to you. So the Dropbox is the last thing I want to talk about. All of your major Assignments throughout the semester with due dates are located in the Dropbox. The Dropbox is where you will drop your links to your assignments as well as reflections on each assignment, uh, discussing, you know, reflecting on how you felt like you did, how you felt like you could improve, and just overall what your impressions were about what you were asked to do by your professor and how that hopefully applies uh, to your professional praxis. So, no quizzes. We do all discussion and higher level learning. I think that's all I've got for you now. Thanks for looking. Make sure that you double check me every week to make sure that I put everything in here correctly. Um, I did have to re uh, not reload everything from the SPSU website. I had to recreate everything from the SPSU website. So there may be some links that either don't work or some mistakes that I've made. Please do uh, constructively call me out on those so that everyone can benefit from um, the correct links. If you have any questions for me prior to the course, my uh, outside D2L email is genie underscore bohannon at kennesaw.edu. Thanks for viewing this long video, and I look forward to a productive semester.